the good shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I lack. In green pastures you let me graze. To safe waters you lead me, you, you restore my strength. You guide me along the right path. Even when I walk through a dark valley, I have no harm, I fear no harm, for you are at my side, your rod and staff give me courage. You set a table before me as my enemies watch. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Only goodness and love will pursue me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. This is Psalm 23, known as the Psalm of the Good Shepherd. Jesus is our Good Shepherd. The Holy Father is our Good Shepherd. But also, all of us are called to be a Good Shepherd. Priests are called to be Good Shepherd to their flocks. Superiors are called to be Good Shepherds toward their religious that are assigned to them. But parents are called to be good shepherds to the flock that's entrusted to them. And of course the flock that is entrusted to the parents, their flock, their sheep, are their children. Even older brothers and sisters are called to be good shepherds to the young to the younger siblings. Children are called to be friends, to be good shepherds to their other friends. All of us, all of us are called to the role to imitate Jesus Christ, the good shepherd. John chapter 10, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. And I lay down my life for my sheep. What then is the secret for us to be a good shepherd to the sheep that are entrusted to us? This is the secret. To be a good shepherd to the sheep entrusted to us, we have to be good sheep of the good shepherd. That's the secret. So let's pray that Jesus will be our good shepherd. We will be good sheep to him. We will hear his voice, obey his voice, so that we can become good shepherd to the sheep that are entrusted to us.